In more news coming in from India. On Monday, a court in Bangladesh sentenced Nobel laureate Mohamed Yunus to six months of a jail for violating the country's labor laws. And while Yunus's sentencing is termed as politically motivated by his supporters, let's take a look at why the Sheikh Hasina government wants the economist behind bars ahead of the general elections. And pardon me, this is the news coming in from Bangladesh. The 83-year-old economist credited with lifting millions out of poverty with his microfinance bank, Grameen, had entered the ire of Sheikh Hasina and who even went to the extent of accusing him of sucking blood from poor people. Now, Yunus also won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2006 for his anti-poverty campaign, earning Bangladesh the reputation of being the home of microcredit through his bank, which he founded in 1983. Now, this verdict that comes just days ahead of January 7th general election in Bangladesh ordered Yunus, along with other three other executives of the social business company, to serve the prison sentence. Now, the four convicted were also slapped a uh, tuck of 25,000 fine, which is approximately $227. Now, individually, adding that they would have to serve 10 more days in jail in case of a default. And soon after the judgment was passed, Yunus and three other executives sought bail, which the judge granted immediately for a month in exchange for a 5,000 taka bond. Now, under the law, all four can appeal against the verdict in high court. And this is not the first time Yunus has been charged for violations. In 2011, in fact, Bangladesh's central bank forced him out of Grameen Bank on the grounds that he had served beyond the mandatory retirement age of 60. In 2013, the authorities accused Professor Yunus of evading taxes on overseas income, which supposedly included his Nobel Prize award and royalties from a book. Now, Yunus is facing more than 100 other charges over labor law violations and alleged corruption and he told reporters that after one of the hearings last month that he had not profited from any of more than 50 social business firms he had set up in Bangladesh. And back in August, 160 global figures including former US President Barack Obama and former UN Secretary published a joint letter denouncing the continuous judicial harassment of Yunus. Now, the signatories include more than 100 of his fellow Nobel laureates who had said that they feared for his safety and freedom. And analysts say that Hasina's grudge against Yunus has a lot to do with what they call a tactical blunder, which is riding on his popularity as Bangladesh's first ever Nobel laureate. Yunus in 2007 found his own political party, the Nagorik Shakti, which he was soon touted and then as a potential leader of a caretaker government to oversee the general elections. However, he abandoned plans to contest elections a few months later, citing a lack of support for his new political movements. Nevertheless, following year, Hasina's administration began a series of investigation against Yunus and critics accused Bangladeshi courts of rubber stamping decisions made by Hasina's government, which is all but certain to win another term in an election boycotted by the largest opposition party, okay. the BNP. And her administration has been increasingly firm in its crackdown on political dissent and Yunus's popularity among the Bangladeshi public has for years earmarked him as a potential rival.